Hello everyone and welcome to the Gaming Bike Geeks channel. My name's Adam and I am back with good old Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe Episode 7. Yeah, the numbers are going fast, yeah, I have to admit. Uh, today, time for more, just more of everything. We need to expand rapidly if I'm going to catch, well, these competitors of mine. So what are they on? 250 million, 240 million and I'm down at 72. That's pitiful. So I need to really up my game. So the last thing I did in the previous episode was create that uh, sort of Concord like plane. And it's you know sort of brothers and sisters who do the same trip and they're not doing bad. I mean don't get me wrong, they've not been around for very long. But they're, they're pulling in some money. So I need to do similar sort of stuff. It's long distance but fast speed. So that's something that I need to look at. The other thing is it's just a oil overload in many places here. So I'm wondering if I should just maybe I should increase the uh, Increase this lot here, get some more boats, get all of these oil fields because only a you know, handful here are, are actually in use. Maybe I should get them all going and just get tons and tons and tons and tons of oil down here. You know, that's super easy to do, isn't it? So, let's see up here. I don't think there's anything yet. So, let's set a boat up there. Yeah, there's nothing waiting there, so there's no one going there. This has got some stuff, so something is obviously going there. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Okay. So we need at least three more. We'll have one go to Mortgage Transfer. Dump all this stuff there. Get out of the way. One go to Norbridge Oil Fields. And transfer. And what was the last one? Norbridge Valley. And transfer and go. Now, I don't know if this is going to be. A good idea <laughs> or not <laughs> we'll find out soon enough oh look there's two more up here i could also do so this one i will do a double let's get you going because that's far away so go to one go to the other and then head to the docks to close all windows I don't know if these 63, 63, oh look, there's a new one under construction right there. 90, 180, that could be interesting. Which one's that? More bridge oil rig. Uh, Sixty-two. 162. Nothing going here? Ronlow West? Have I neglected this one? I think I have. Don't know how I've managed to do that. <laughs> Alright, there we are. that one's done now as well. Now that's going to be Boatstastic. Oh, someone's had a car crash then. Boats are all arriving now at their new oil fields. And this here should be getting some crazy amounts of stuff. That was completely unnecessary, that beat, by the way. Sorry about that. 
Okay, look, four million litres of oil. I need to do something here now. What is going on up here? This is just a disaster. <laughs> this level crossing is clearly not working. Who's, who's, who's yellow? Which port transport needs to build a bridge or something here? <laughs> Longer accepts passengers. Oh, that's fine. It was a farm. I, I got worried then. I thought one of my actual one of my passenger stops was uh, no longer taking passengers. That would have been bad. So this, I mean, look at this. Look, these these towns, the city, sorry, are merging. So now Acton Green Station is gonna start getting a lot of passengers because it's going to be getting stuff from both sides and it's going to get completely surrounded and that's what I want, that's good a bit like this where I've got, wow, way too many passengers in there might need to look into that soon but let's let's deal with my uh, crazy oil volumes now because these two clearly aren't cutting it so I need to increase this by, I hate to think how much to be honest, 270,000 litres, so I need to, need to increase it quite a bit. So first of all let's get this station upgraded with another platform, which is going to be tricky because this plane, trains are going to be constantly in and out of here, so I might just have to bite the bullet at some point. It goes. No, that was that wasn't that was too bad. I thought some trains would get uh, denied entry, but they uh, they did it right. Put in an extra track. And now we want a three track. Oh, will that go there? Will that be happy? Let's see, I think the game will just prop that corner up. Yes, yes it has done. So now we can just uh, clone whichever train that will do. Speed it up. Uh, let's keep an eye on these numbers. Does this number come down at all? It's hovering around five. And it's staying around five, isn't it? It's not coming down much. So, time for an upgrade. More trains, but keeping the same number of tracks. So here we need to build some signals. Ooh. And what I want to do is have it so that trains can get into any platform that happens to be open. It doesn't have to be just the one that they are coming into. So that way, even though we've only got three platforms and three tracks, we can actually have more than three trains. They just take it in turns. That. Wait for that one to get out of the way. Go and try and get out of the way. There we go. That one there and that one there. Right. So now at either end, trains can, can change tracks as and when they need to. Now, thanks to the to the game's clever signalling system, I can tell the new train to go. He won't go because there's a train in the way. But as soon as he clears the station, the new train will leave. There he goes now. He will briefly stop here. Obviously there's nothing there for him. 
So he'll very quickly choose any um, bit of track that happens to be open and head off. And he will go into whatever happens to be the easiest open platform. And all four trains will now do this. So that they'll just they'll just move around each other quite happily. Slows things down a tiny bit. But it should hopefully mean that these numbers start to come down. Yes, that we're just hitting threes there now. So is it is it enough though? Is it enough to see it go down into the threes consistently? Or do I need another one? I mean, I can have another train on this track. I can have five trains on this track. Or these tracks, I should say. Oh, hello. <laughs> Town just built a bridge. Uh, 3.6 million. It's, it's in the threes more often, isn't it? There is just a incredible amount of breakdown sounds going on as well. <laughs> That's not helpful. Let's see how well these guys do with one more one more train. Is that me? It is not me. I don't have to worry but still never good. Right. Why are these boats not repairing them, uh, yeah, rebuying re themselves. Rebuying themselves? That doesn't make sense. Renewing themselves. There's no reason why that shouldn't be going. Blunk. Blunk. Ah, see, auto renew is failing. That's why. So let's, uh, let's do these ships while I'm here and then I'll deal with the trains. Actually, no, I didn't check. Is there any more? No. Okay, so they're good. Do I have any planes getting old? Because planes, when they get old, they tend to fall out the sky. Oh, you. Can you, can you turn around? You're not. Let's not worry. Oh, I did. He had to take off and then turn around. <laughs> Right, what, what are you? What are you? So you're doing doing it right. You've got a full load of passengers. So you, you could do something a bit bigger. Where do you go? That's it. So obviously Nanberg is a big, and you go to yeah, so we 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 can have a bigger plane than that, can't we? So let's ditch you. Let's put in a big Darwin. Darwin 300, the biggest one we've got. The 747, as it were. So he should earn more money now. He's doing the same speed, but he's taking more passengers each time. So that's a, that's definitely an upgrade. Uh, we've got trains and cars with issues. So let's have a look at these. So we've got major, major blockages here. This train is taking a very long time. There it goes. And then as soon as as soon as train eight gets clearance, he, he breaks down. That sounds about right. So these trains are very much struggling at the minute. What's their reliability? Zero percent and eight percent. You know what? I'm just gonna don't worry about passengers. Both of you get to the depot so that we can get you replaced and get you get you something that uh, isn't horribly unreliable. So you can be replaced by, well there's only one option really, the same style dash train. These aren't dashes are they? These are these are manly morals. But they're getting replaced by dashes which are bigger, faster, more powerful. Generally the kind of thing that we need. 
Uh, while we have trains, let's see if there are any others. Trains a bit bigger so we can see more. Got one here. You're right by a depot, that's perfect. Right by the depot, same one that we've been looking at for all the other trains actually. Conveniently. You're on SH30, off you go. You know what, this one, I think this one's got a long way to go. Uh, not too bad, but he can take the shortcut now because he's been given permission to go straight to the depot. So he'll take the uh, farm trains shortcut. He can skip everything. Oh dear, another plane crash. That's not one of mine, is it? No. There's a lot of crashes going on for everyone else. They obviously don't know how to play the game, these AI characters. <laughs> Even though they should know how to play the game far better than anyone else. Uh, train six. Oh, let's speed you up. So you get replaced with one of you. Train six is this one up here, isn't it? He's heading for Sedell City, so he can go to the depot first. And uh, he'll be replaced. Oops. Up he goes. So next up. Fella. He's also on the set. Oh, yeah, they're all they're all going to be the same, aren't they? No, I'm just going to send them all to the depot. Yeah, as well. Just, just, just all of you, just go. I could be here forever, couldn't I? Wait. Let's put the speed up. Trains all done, I think. Number 18, no. You've somehow managed to skip the list. It must have just been a bad timing thing, that one. Very nearly sent the wrong train out then. And you get replaced. Right, now, is that it? Okay, good. Trains are good. For, for now, at least. Cars. How are we doing with cars? They've been auto renewing, no problem. Good. Right. Let's get back to down here. Let's make sure these things are all still running okay. Three point eight. I thought it would be lower. Maybe the fact there's too many trains now is causing them to slow down. Need to do something more. They don't seem to ever be waiting though, do they? They don't seem to sit there for very long. There's a lot of breakdowns going on in there, isn't there? This is going to be the Adam replaces all of his vehicles episode. Sorry, this is probably going to be a bit boring in that case, isn't it? I'll try and make the next one a little bit more interesting. I think, I think everything here is just massively overwhelmed now. This train is clearly not keeping up now with the, the new um, volume of crates that are coming in. There's nowhere else I can send it. Well, I can't put another platform in there. 
So I'd have to make another line that goes off to, I don't know, Fodstow or Partial Ridge. Something like that. I can expand both stations again, though, can't I? I can put. Oh, look, look, this is causing a problem. Breakdowns, causing issues. <laughs> more road I shouldn't lower deaths, it's terrible. More, more, more accidents. You know what? Let's make this enormous. Let's make this a huge station. Which is going to be non impossible. Oh, unless I catch it just in time. Which I did. Let's have you go there now. We'll have another goods train come out the back and head off to one of the other. One of the other platforms. And these new lines, not that one. So I've got two new lines to to add to oh, these trains lost. Oh look, because it's bigger, it's got a different name now. So delete you, instead go to the new name of the station. Same goes for you. That's kind of annoying. Usually, it's if it's joined on, it uh, takes the new name. Bit weird. Right, he's got the right orders now. He doesn't, but he still appears to be going anyway. You need to skip. You skip as well. Right, you are going around in circles, so you've clearly got the, the invalid aura still. Right, anyone else? The other one I just did. I think we're alright now. I think I've done them all. What I need to do now is expand and this, look at all these breakdowns. I need to find some more reliable trains, I think. And I need to work on my uh, rail placing. Looks alright. Just briefly, just do that. They can still get there, that's fine. I need to work on down here now. And expand here, that was wrong. Never mind, doesn't matter. This can now be five tracks. Time to actually clear it. Put the new one in. That one's kept its name, so that's good. I'm going to get stuck here, I think. I think I can clear the bridge. I can't clear the bridge, but one of, uh, one of you viewers, whose name I forget, I apologise, <laughs> suggested that I could plant trees to curry favour with, uh, with the local authority. So let's plant loads of trees and let's see if uh, that makes them happy. Thanks for that tip by the way. I was not aware of that one. Oh, I forgot about the goods train. Now I somehow have to get. So I, I, can I, oh, I can build under that one. That one's all right. Uh, 
So let's do this. Wait for the slowest train in the world to get out of the way. That and that. Let's go across as well. There we go. Now there's five platforms. Just gotta deal with this thing that's in the way. But for now. go around it like this and have this oh I'm sure that one has worked this one do this that should be okay more tracks more platforms more trains let's get that oil level down. So we should be able to have quite a few trains on this system here. Let's see if this comes down. I want to see this get down into the twos at least. Yeah, there we go. There were some twos there. 2.6. It can come down any further. Yes, and into the ones and ones. That's good. That should look our outstanding. I wonder if you'll I I let me destroy this now. Oh it's not them. It's it's ah oh, it's this this town here, that's the problem. Here town. I have a whole bunch of trees planted. We're appalling. <laughs> so I'm guessing. I wonder why they hate us so much. What have we done? We don't have any stations. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's just no stations here. And it doesn't like it. Probably. What it is. Let's have this. This boat here also go to the Chillingstone Valley uh, as well. Didn't actually look to see how much this produced. But it's good to have even extra. Oh, that looks like one of mine. Nantburg. There it is. Is that was that one of my new planes? It wasn't. It wasn't. But still, very sad. I can replace it with uh, a similar airplane. <laughs> and, uh, it's actually going to help a little bit, I think, because uh, there's not many passengers there anyway. Oh, the ratings are appalling, that's why. Weird, really, because there's, there's a fair amount of stuff that goes in and out here. This one down. Look, look at the mail. Right, let's let's clone that thing. But we'll take the passenger thingy off, and we'll put a couple of mail vans on it. And we'll just have a mail train. Just literally just does mail. Which does it do? Oh, it does. It does some passengers. But it's my main focus is, is mail. So that will help get the mail down a little bit. Not, not much, but some. Uh, let's see what our problem places are. Total waiting cargo, change the sort. It's Sedale City, and it's no surprise, it is totally surrounded by stuff. I don't know what more I can do about that. Well, I've been thinking. Sedale City has a problem. New Whithaven on Sea has a problem. So maybe a new train is needed. Let's make it a super fast train that literally just goes between the two. And maybe. 
maybe a couple of them as well. So, which one do we think is best? The Tim or the Asia Star? Asia Star, way faster, but not as reliable. That seems to be an issue at the minute. But it will improve, I guess. Uh, you know, actually, no, I'll take the Tim because there's other trains on the line. So there's no point in it going too fast, it's just going to catch up. In fact, there's no point in using one of those at all. I might as well just use a normal SH40 and, and just have it go direct, I guess. Yeah. So let's make up a full five platform length train. And you go there, and then I don't know why I managed to press that. You go up to New Wittatton on sea, and we'll make both of these non stop. So this time, that train should fill up. You can take the shortcut to bypass, what's that, Bromborough and Acton, Acton Green. He will go straight through Pinborough and it looks like he's going to join the queue at uh, Abbas level. With the unreliable trains blocking his path, he should go straight through there. And yeah, his next stop will be New Whithatton on Sea. It's not that one. What's this in reliability? 29% and he's only two years old. Why is it so dreadful? Oh look, the SH30s have very low reliability anyway. The SH40s are far higher. I might actually just tell this guy, don't worry, just let's just swap you out and put in something that's far more reliable. Oh well, that's not great, but so we've got a little little something extra going on there. Uh, Friedrich Airport has gone absolutely mental. We've got any other airports that uh, that need some help? There's nothing I can do about that one because it's a small airport and it's surrounded. <laughs> There's very little I can do about that. Uh, Tudfield, also another airport I can't do anything about. Trevel, I can do something about Trevel. Oh, we've got more. Getting sidetracked, more issues. Train not available. That's fine. We'll find you something else. So this was a is this a Hendry? Is that yep, yeah, Hendry 25? That's no longer available. That's an interesting development. And we've only got these dreadful diesels. Look at the reliability on these. So SH40s, I think, are going to be the star of the show everywhere. Anyway, let me quickly go back to my airport issues. That's what I want right there. Another Concordy type plane, the Yate Horgan. And you are going to go to Friedrich. And then you are going to go to Tudfield Treville. Because it has to be a big enough airport. Big planes have to go to big airports. So. Diesel train. Which one are you? You are the iron ore one. To be honest, I'm surprised you're even still going. Because there's such a small amount of iron. 
making money, but it's not very much, is it? There's nothing... This, this whole thing is going to be a problem soon. But, not much we can do about it, I guess. I guess so. Should I do? Oh, this one's still fairly young. And reliability is probably going to help it, actually, because it will give a little bit more time uh, for the iron ore to come in. Just quick, just doing a quick check, make sure, you know, my farm's still going. That's good. I, mean, I, I can't imagine this being too much of a problem. It's sort of keeping up, isn't it? Yeah, this is this is the Adam replaces all of his trains episode. Definitely, we're obviously hitting that that point in time where we're losing old vehicles, and uh, they're, yeah, they're going to become a problem. There's another one that. Is there one at this end? There is. Place you. Yes, you can just double click on the trains, by the way, to replace them. Now this is doing all right. That's that. That that, that might actually benefit because now this train's going to be a lot faster. Plus, it's going to be more reliable, so it's it's going to be doing more trips. So this that could be a nice little uh, nice little boost that one. Okay, any more for any more? <laughs> I've got boats. Boats, boats, boats. Is it just old? Imagine, actually, is there going to be any new ones? I don't actually know. I'll have to wait and see. Ah, look at this, there we go. Okay, so these guys are holding their own. They're doing alright now. I've got a good problem here, haven't I? That's right, I need to make another... Um, a good train. And the question is, where did it go? Uh, oh, we've got monorails available now. That snuck past. I think that came in at year 2000. Got more, more vehicles getting old. Dying. Not, you know, you know what I mean. Breaking down. Let's replace this one. I'm going to do this all remotely. No need to actually see. I need something small. Uh, so, do I have any small planes now? I don't know if I do. Let's have a look. Large, large, obviously large. The, the largest. Large. These are all large. There's a small one. And the dinger. So which one do we go with? 85. The dinger I think is going to be the one, isn't it? And it's got great reliability. That's definitely the right one to have. Oh god. Oh, it's all going wrong. Look. <laughs> right, you know what? I'll do this bit off camera because no one wants to see me replace a whole bunch of planes. It's just unnecessary. Right, okay. I've been through 
all of the dying planes, trains, and automobiles. I think we're all good for the minute. This lot is is running beautifully now. It's being kept on top of. So it's just the goods that I need to sort out, which is what I was going to do before I was rudely interrupted by dying planes. So let's find let's find somewhere to to put a station. Let's see, can I do around the back here? It accepts goods here. Yeah? Excellent. There, just there. Oh, snuck through the back there. That's that was nicely done. And let's have an SH forty, seeing as that's the only train that's reliable now. And good tray. Uh, good. Cars, I don't know what you want to call them, whatever, whatever they are, those goods, things, <laughs> carriages. You can head up to there, let's put the transparent buildings back on, give you some speed. And hopefully that will help, uh, help keep the ratings up a little bit. Yeah, we're getting back into the 50s. But that does mean we'll produce more goods, but it's it's one of those things, isn't it? Really? These trains are getting old already. Since when? Why is it with the trains getting old on this episode? Hey, look, look, they're all just breaking down. They're all useless. But they're doing the job. Right, you know, I'm going to end it there it's been a dreadful episode of me upgrading things and replacing trains i'm sorry next episode will be better i promise or i, I hope I'll, I'll do more of that off camera definitely so if you've been watching thank you very much um obviously if you like these videos please give me a like if you really like them i appreciate it subscribe and i'll see you for the next episode Bye-bye.